More Final Fantasy XIV information about their mega update, a new legendary skin in League of Legends, and Kickstarter woes. This is MMO Play Weekly News. The update of 3.3 for Final Fantasy XIV is easily going to be one of the biggest patches yet. Here are just a few of the many incoming changes. Main storyline sequences. The truce between man and dragon has dissolved. All that's left is fire and blood. Just what exactly does this Nidhogg have to do with this catastrophe? And what does he want? New zones and dungeons. Jump into a plethora of PVM content ripe with exciting scenarios, beautiful views, and brain-bending puzzles. Wardrobe revitalization. New gear, hairstyles, outfits, and... Uh... Flower... Flower pots? Okay. And finally, Beast Tribe Quests, a cool new way to get stuff. There's a ton more, but don't take my word for it. Check out our story and the official trailer in the link in the description. Only a little while ago, May 31st to be exact, Smite finally arrived on console. The primarily first slash third person MOBA is a natural fit for controllers as opposed to something like League of Legends or Dota's Bird's Eye Perspective. The joy of the MOBA genre is spreading, and with it, new game modes, new gods, trophies, 60 frames per second optimization, and a real-time activity feed where everyone can know and come to accept your deity-ness. The newly announced anime-inspired MMORPG has shed some light on the world you'll one day be inhabiting. Evidently, there was an all-powerful creator who delegated the fate of humanity to two twin goddesses. Everything seemed to go well for a while, but then the story ends. The story of life and death as we know it. How it would proceed, what was to be written, could not be agreed upon between the goddesses. So then when you don't get your way, the obvious decision is to cripple the opposing force and make them submit to your will. I mean, of course. When the near powerless, now mortal deity fell to earth, she made one last wish. To save Senshi. New to this PvP and crafting centric MMORPG is a new, sweet looking dual sword attack animation. And a new biome. This exotic location, named The Steps, features new stories like an animal graveyard, a deadly cliff, and an oasis. All of which are not hospitable in the slightest. More info on these stories, enemies, and whatever else to come soon. Unfortunately, this MMORPG brimming with potential and a whimsical story inspired by traditional British fantasy and even a touch of Game of Thrones overtones has not met its rather low Kickstarter goal of £50,000 or about $75,000 US. This is pretty depressing to hear about as someone who loved the ideas. I can't even imagine what it's like for the devs who wanted something like this so bad only for it to just fall through. Admittedly, however, it is evidence that what they're selling just wasn't enough. Yet. Hopefully, they return someday with more to offer. Should you be one of the few whom like and actively played Dominion, then this mode is for you. Several incoming changes should be enough to spark new interest by removing a surprisingly large portion of the map in order to increase the activeness and tension by focusing on only a few goals. In addition, the central objective, some cloud thing, will bestow buffs giving the capture increased powers. Also assisting in sieges are the new Ultra Minions, focused on breaking base defenses. Also in League of Legends news, a new legendary skin has been released. Dark Star Thresh, a sick looking galaxy themed cosmetic for one of the greatest support champions in the game. Expect visually stunning particle effects, unique expressive animations, and the fear instilling voiceover of a monster from the coldest reaches of space. Easily one of the best parts of both Oblivion and Skyrim were the Dark Brotherhood storylines. So it begs the question, where's that amazing content in the Elder Scrolls Online? Now you can finally stop asking. No, I mean, please, we're getting, we're getting so many messages a day. Just, just please stop, I can't take it anymore. Anyway, get ready to dive into some shady assassination action if you have a subscription or the coin to pay for it.
The industry MMORPG developer veterans of Adventure Quest fame have at long last revealed some footage of their exclusive new game set to launch cross-platform on both Steam and mobile. An impressive feat to be sure. Gameplay-wise, if their past titles are anything to go by, we can look forward to old gaming practices that solidified MMORPG gaming spot in our hearts and the next generation practices of high quality production across the board. Now your dreams of conquering and owning land in a more traditional MMORPG have been realized. Although it may not be exactly what you expect, you'll be tasked with generally more diplomatic duties such as tax collecting and creating truces between kingdoms. Tough decisions must be made. That is to say, you can be the ruler of a great sovereign nation, or you can take a more backseat approach as a loyal knight to your liege. That's it for this week. Make sure to check out all the relevant links in the articles themselves, like the first looks and, of course, that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.